All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Now, I hope you are ready for this topic. Trust and believe me, I hope you are ready. But I'm pretty sure each and every last one of y'all is ready. Now, I just want to say thank you to everybody. I know I say this a lot, but I want to keep on thanking y'all. Because without y'all, it won't be no me. Every number, teamwork make the dream work. Remember, we are a team, y'all. So I want to thank each and every last one of you that been commenting, liking, leaving positive feedback, all that stuff on the super thanks, donations, all that. I thank you all. But with that being said, y'all, we are back with another topic like I had said. And you may want to stay tuned at the very end of the very video. All right? But with that being said, y'all, let's get right into it. Excuse me. But yeah, let's get right into it. And by the way, this topic right here, each and every last one of y'all can relate to it. But yeah, like I said, let's get right into it. Your enemies, or shall I say y'all enemies, y'all put y'all enemies to shame. The resilience that you carry got them preoccupied. Listen, that resilience that y'all carry, it got your enemy so terrified, preoccupied, as so I say, it makes them not want to come near you. It makes these fools wake up and realize they cannot be like you. But you know why I say that? It's because... They had tried everything to try to intimidate you. But when they come near you, they get intimidated. They can't talk. They can't do nothing. They can't even look at you face to face. Man to man or woman to woman. Or excuse me, woman to woman. They can't even look at you in the flesh. Because that spirit, I said spirit, that spirit that you carry, it got them scared, scared of you. Afraid. These people, when they see you, they know what time it is. They know you ain't nothing to be played with. But your enemies are now being put to shame as we speak. But they knew better. But remember, if you knew better, you'll do better. And this is why y'all put your enemies to shame. Because you had got her out the mud. But unlike them, they want to hate on you. They want to find an excuse to tear you down. They want to find an excuse to throw stones at y'all for no apparent reason. But this is what people do when they can't beat you. They want to get together, team up, and turn down your whole empire. But when God is on your team... God ain't going to let nothing happen to you or your blessings or your plans. Remember, y'all, I don't care who coming up against you. They cannot stop you. They cannot stop what God got planned for you in the future. As some of you may have been late bloomers, but let me tell you something. It is never too late to get on your grind and build something. And when you start building something, watch them enemies going to come out of the bushes. And some of these enemies, that's going to be with familiar faces. Yeah, familiar faces. Ones that have watched you grow up. From friends or even family members. Fake family members, fake friends. You may never know who is trying to turn you down. Because like I said, people can't pretend very well out here. So many people trying to act like, I'm so happy for you, but sooner or later, the truth is going to come out, and that resilience, they're going to hate it. They're going to despise you for that, because they wish they never seen you had it. These people are despised by you because they seen you too tough. you too this, you too that. you too cocky, you too confident. No, they just mad because they wish... They had what you had. 
they wish that they were that doggone confident. But they will splake. They will replace your confidence with cocky and being arrogant. But you're not trying to be cocky or arrogant. But no, they just mad because they can't do what you're doing. They refuse to put in that work. People find any type of excuse to try to put you to shame. Here they try to embarrass you, clown you, joke on you. That's to make you just feel worthless. When I said they tried everything, they tried everything. They got other people to turn against you, slander your name, get slam campaigns, whatever you want to call that stupid stuff. They did everything. And guess what? They still failed. They did all of that, y'all. And didn't get nowhere. Nowhere. But every time they see you in public, they run for the hills. They use them two legs and get to running like a deer. And y'all know y'all be driving, you see a deer. That's go out the woods and that's phew. That's how they is when they see you. They get to hopping with them legs and get to running. They scare y'all. They intimidated. It's that spirit inside of you. The resilience that you carry. They got people intimidated. You ain't trying to intimidate nobody. But remember, y'all, it's y'all spirit that got these people afraid of y'all. Y'all got so many people running away from you. It's not even funny. They running like they seen a boogeyman or something. But now your spirit is spiritually checking these folks. Your spirit don't match with their spirit. But consider that as a good thing. Even if it is the people that you grew up with, that's still a good thing. Because it says a lot about them. If they don't want to grow, they don't want to go nowhere in life, y'all got to lead these people. Yeah, it's going to be painful, but guess what? You got to grow without people. That's a part of the process. Grow without them. You don't need them. They're telling you they don't want you to make it. They're telling you, you need to stay where we at. We down at the bottom, and we want you to stay with us. And you said to yourself, I be down. But ever since you start believing in yourself, it made you feel some type of way. Your growth, your elevation got people, a lot of people, scared. Shaking in their boots, sweating. You can see the sweat dropping off their forehead right now as we speak. And know that ain't water. That is pure sweat as we speak. Y'all got a lot of people afraid right now. They're calling you crazy because you brave. They're calling you weird because you don't have a, well, I'm not going to say that, but you're not afraid to be alone. And you a leader. You don't follow the crowd. That is saying, you think you all that, huh? Who you think you is? <laughs> Tell them, I am that guy. I am that woman. Now, who is you? And they ain't gonna have nothing else to say. Because you know why? These people don't know who they are. They can look in the mirror and they still don't know who they are. Because you know why? They let society tell them who they are. But remember, they don't got that same spirit as y'all. But your spirit is scaring the living daylights out of them. All of your enemies being put to shame and embarrassed. What can they do? What can they say? Nothing. The only thing they can do is sit on their floppy behinds and watch you put in that work. They can say, hate, do whatever, but are they going to do what you're doing? No, because you know why? They ain't got enough guts. They ain't got the horse audacity 
They ain't got the faith, the belief. They ain't got nothing. But one around time out bragging about what they got. Time out the car, the type of car that they drive, the type of house that they live in. At the end of the day, that don't mean nothing. Y'all got more than these people. Dedication, confidence, faith, and you put your trust in God. But unlike them, what they put their trust in, their car, their house, jewelry, all these other materialistic things. And they know doggone well, they can't take that stuff with them. But when they see you, you're not flashing no diamond jewelries. You're not flashing money. You're not showing your car off or your house. You putting in the hard work. You're showing a lot of effort. And you're believing in yourself. But every time they see you that's living your life, being happy. You might not have much money as these folks, but guess what? They still jealous of you. People can have a lot more than you and still be upset at you. That don't make sense now, does it? But hey, that's how people, that's how folks is. When you have resilience and a lot of it, it makes people feel jealous. They in their emotions. They in their feelings. Somebody had me some tissue. Because they in their emotions right now. They crying right now. Drag them to the rest of the folks over there that's crying on the bench. Because you're the main player on the game. But them on the bench, they crying. They can't get in the game because they ain't got the same beliefs as you. And plus you the only one on the team that got balls. Yeah. Y'all got enough hostility in your guts. You got enough belief system. But I say this too. They say dream work make the team work. But in this case, sometimes you got to do this alone. Because everybody on the team is not going to make it. Everybody on the squad ain't going to make it. Why do you think these Bull bands or these girl groups end up breaking up. Because one solo person stood out. One solo person. For example, look at Justin Timberlake and Ink Sync. Look at Omarion with B2K. Look at the Jackson 5 and Michael Jackson. Lonnie Richard with the Commodores. All these groups end up breaking out. And one star of the group became solo. That's how y'all is. Y'all had to break out. You had to separate from that hometown, from your friends, from your family, and do your own thing. And ever since then, they've been so upset. Some of them been happy for you. So let's not get it twisted. Some of them were happy for you. But nine times out of ten, 95% of them was when I said was, they was and still is upset, but oh well. We don't care. Y'all don't care how they feel. Because at the end of the day, it was you that put in the work, not them. You. That's why they were so afraid. They didn't want you to go out there and do it. Because <laughs> they know you're going to go out there and win. And you did it anyway. But that was their worst nightmare. Not, <laughs> it's funny when you think about it. Because these people had nightmares of you winning. But that nightmare became true. You start winning. Start succeeding. Now everybody in your hometown mad at you. Some of them admire about you. Some of them proud of you. But like I said, some of them real upset. Mad. Because you stood up for something. When everybody was mad at you, guess what? You still put in the work. All of that hatred, they didn't ever build you up. All that resilient, it just made you stronger and tougher. These people really were building you up if you think about it. All that hate was for the motivation. All that hate, y'all, they were helping y'all build up and build up and build up. 
That's why y'all got people competing with you. That's why you got folks. I don't really want to compete. And you're not competing with them. You compete with yourself. But I like them. They can't compete with themselves because they want to compete with you. Because they see something inside of you that they want to garnish. They see you elevating. They see you evolving. They see you uplifting people. And here they come with a funky little trash self. Want to destroy it. But they're going to end up hurting their own selves. Trying to hurt you. Now ain't that something, y'all? A bunch of wannabes trying to compete with y'all. A.K.A. the Chosen. A.K.A. the Warriors. Spiritual Warriors. The spiritual beings. But when you put your trust in God. And got so much resilience. They can't beat you. They couldn't beat you on your worst day. They couldn't even beat you if you were sick. They still couldn't beat you. I don't care what they do or say. They can't beat y'all. That's why every time they see y'all, they take off. You be like, damn, I ain't say nothing. I ain't did nothing. They just put their head down and get to walking. They either put their head down because they ashamed, embarrassed. Or number two, they turn around and just walk away. Y'all embarrass y'all enemies. Y'all put them to shame. But remember, they try to do you like that. But they come beat you. I don't care. They had a the whole army squad against you. You beat every last one of them. Every last one of them. And every single last one of them, all of a sudden want to be your friend. All of a sudden want to work a business plan out with you. Don't do it. If it don't feel right, don't do it. Because I'm telling you all right now. They just want to, excuse me, they just want to use you. They just want to see what type of information they can get out of you. Be careful. Because all this offering, this, I want to be your friend. I want to be with you. Be careful. Because these are the same very people that try to come against you and try to destroy your reputation. Be careful. Don't let anybody into your life. Keep your third eye open at all times. Be on your P's and Q's. And most importantly, look into their eyes. Because remember, the eyes are the window to their soul. And you can see right through a person just by looking into their eyes. You can tell they're full of BS or they really, really want to work with you. Having per attentions. So watch out. I ain't saying be paranoid or be thinking everybody coming out to get you, but just be on your P's and Q's. And be careful who you let into your life. Because you were number. When you were building your business up, who were there with you? Nobody but God. But as soon as you came on top, here they come running. But at the same time, some of them gonna be very mad, intimidated, embarrassed, pissed off. But who fault is that? Not yours. It's their fault. Their fault. Not you, not y'all. Their fault. You put in the work, you believed in yourself, and when you didn't, I'ma say this. When you believed in yourself, even if they didn't, guess what? Things still worked out for your own good. So I guess that's why they want to be your friend all of a sudden. That's why all of a sudden, people call themselves thinking that they knew you. <laughs> yeah, right. But yeah, y'all, that was my video for tonight. Or should I say in the morning? Make sure y'all take that advice. Be on your P's and Q's. Keep your third eye open. And remember, everybody that came against you is not embarrassed and been put to shame. Because the resilience that you carry got them preoccupied, a.k.a. intimidated. Q.
keep your foot on the enemy's neck at all times. I'll catch y'all on the next one.